probably be a good... We could stand if it's more comfortable. I, it's a funny feeling. You know, yeah, it is you know, weird. I really feel like a dunce in this chair. <laughs> you know? we, we look like two Charlie McCarthys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bergy, Bergy, Bergy. Uh, anyway, uh, raise your hand if you want to ask us, uh, either of us, a question. Oh, yes, sir, Woody, you would. How does it feel to be perverted? How does it feel to be perverted? How does it feel to be perverted? Yes, uh, it's a warm, wonderful feeling. <laughs> yeah. I'm always asked that question. In, in this week's New York Magazine, uh, I'm quoted as being, in quotes, one of the country's leading perverts. And um, it's true. It's a strange I, I, thing. I'm at least anybody. one of the top ten, you know? <laughs> if not the leading. I hadn't, haven't seen this year's list. <laughs> who, uh, who else would like... There's a gentleman right there. Can you get a microphone uh, to him? Either of us. Uh, I saw you on 59th Street a week ago going to see that movie Swedish Heaven and Hell with a girl. Do you remember when I said to you, uh, hello, paranoid? Yes. Yes, I, I do. I remember. I, I... <laughs> One of us is crazy. Uh, uh, I just want to clarify this right now. Yeah, I guess it's uh, I, I wasn't going to see Sweden Heaven. I was going to see the three films of Edgar Allan Poe's, the uh, Vadim Malin Fellini film, and that was not a girl with me. And that's why I answered you the way I did that day. Now I'll let them wonder if we... Yes, the gentleman in the tie. I've heard a rumor that you're going to run for the presidency in 1972. Is that true? Which one of us is he talking to? I don't think he's talking to either of us. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, he's not, and I am not neither. Yes, Vice I'm... President? No, I, I myself believe in a fascist dictator state. <laughs> and, uh, I would That's like to. Was you going to run for fascist di dictator? Yes, I'm running for dictator. I'm, I, I'm, my, my fondest wish is to to be a benevolent dictator. I would mm -hmm. like to, you know, get control of the reins of government for maybe just. 20 minutes if I could. And, you know, I could really Re stick the shaft to all those Running for fascists. They're one of the fascist runners in town. <laughs> How do we do it? What a team. We ought to be on TV more often. Uh, who else has one? Yeah, there must be a balcony. Yes, balcony. What? Yes, you. I'm assuming there's someone up there. <laughs> Anyone down here? It's hard to see the balcony. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yell it out. Sorry, sorry. What size shoe do you wear? What size shoe do I wear? Which leg? <laughs> That's not bad for an ad. That was good. That was good. Yeah, uh, my, I, I wear eight. Uh, I, they're actually uh, booties. <laughs> I have very little feet. Uh, yes, lady in the hairpiece. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, would you, would you ever be a guest on uh, Merv Griffin or Johnny Carson if they asked you? We were thinking of having them here, but they're going to have to hurry. <laughs> yeah, I think we're both free to, to appear wherever we like. Uh, yeah, yes, Balcony. <laughs> Is he back again? <laughs> Uh, folks at home, the question is, where is a strange animal musk after Ellen exudes that drives women wild, and where can we get it? Next. <laughs> yes, a gentleman uh, with the uh, <laughs> bow tie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Allen, uh, there was an item in the paper <laughs> yes. that stated that you can make uh, a lot more money writing, but you prefer performing. Could you tell us why you personally prefer performing? Uh, I don't. I, I don't prefer writing uh, or performing, actually. Mm. Well, why do you do? Uh, 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 why do you? Uh, why do you do more performing than writing? I don't. I do uh, an inverse ratio of writing to the amount of uh, perverse activity that I do. And, um, there's somebody in the balcony. That, there's someone uh, actually freaking out in the balcony. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm married but separated. You know, so it's uh, the same thing in a different sense. I have to walk a few blocks to get what I want. I must be... Uh, I don't understand a word of this. I have to walk a few blocks. Yes, uh, someone with glasses, please. Anyhow, there's a gentleman with glasses right back there. Sir? Uh... 
Congratulations on your glasses. <laughs> I thought you had a question. I don't mean to be impertinent. I wonder uh, if Mr. Cabot has yet made or if he uh, would now care to an endorsement for the position of mayor of New York. N endorse whom for the position of mayor? Well, your choice, I would presume. Uh, yes, I, I want the funny one. <laughs> yes, we all know who that is. Uh, yes, a gentleman raising his hand timorously, uh, but has a terrific uh, physique. Can I ask you a personal question? Uh, Who's me? your tailor? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Who's your tailor? Who's my tailor? Right. <laughs> I buy everything at, this is true, at, at the um, Army and Navy store on 42nd Street. Is that so? True. It's the, be it's the best place. You go in there and it fits right off the rack, and, and it's like $7 for a pair of pants, and they last forever. <laughs> and they have a, a, an interesting built-in musky odor that you might have. <laughs> I see. Uh, there's a lady right here. You're both known for your athletic prowess. Which of you can do the most push-ups? Which of us can do the most push-ups? Uh, I think we all know the answer to that. Uh, we would cancel each other out. Yes. So I started a push-up in 1946. This is true, and it lasted yeah. through, I think, the late 50s. Do you think they're daring us to try? Yeah. Yeah. Make a spectacle of our... I, I, I can't do push-ups because I have a terrible... Uh, I have an emphysema of my chest that extends... This is true, down to my leg and back up the other side, negating... Also, my chest is at the Broadhurst Theatre. Uh, we should give odds. Uh, I, we should I, start even. I should take my jacket off. Yeah, I, I'm not going to actually do push-ups. Uh, should we take our whole shirt off and do our push-ups on the... That'd be silly. Come on. Uh, I don't egg us on. With, with the eyelids. No, no, actual push-ups. From the floor? I can't get that. I will if you will. Take my shirt off? Yeah. I'll roll my sleeves up. I can't take my shirt off because I have a pornographic tattoo on my chest. And it, 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 it cannot be seen on a major network, you know, unless accompanied by a parent. Pardon me? Did you oil your muscles? Did I oil my muscles? <laughs> funny, this guy guy's seen your old egg. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, are, do, are we undressed enough? If, if we took our shirts off, it would close the network. <laughs> No, I can't take anything off. You, you know what? Yeah. what? You, you actually want to do push-ups? I don't know if we ought to do, go in. Go yeah, I can. I... Okay. But think of it this way. What if I drop dead from a heart attack? <laughs> then you... No, then... <laughs> you, now you clap, but you'll feel guilty, right, when you go home. Because... Yeah, what? no, you will, because I'm vulnerable. And you think that guy, he was sweet, and he dropped dead from a heart attack because we egged him on to do push-ups. I, I don't want to do any push-ups. If you want to see a physical act performed... Um, I knew you'd get us out of this. Don't, don't we have to break? I have a tattoo commercial? that says Wilma that I'm very ashamed of. <laughs> no, I really, I got it as a kid at the fair. There was a girl named Wilma, and after that I broke up with her, and there are no red-hot Wilmas running around, so I, I've wasted my Wilma. I, I don't want to do push-ups. I can't. Push I'm too dignified. Let's do a... five, and, and uh, we'll, we'll let the audience count, and we'll, they'll judge on who did them better. Five? You've got to be kidding. I can't hold out for more than two. All right, I'm going to do them. Go. <laughs> How long can we stay this way? Okay. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I think... All right. Go. One. Oh. We, we uh... Oh, I think four. I... Four. It's funny. Have you ever heard a man herniate from the waist up? Very strange. We have to pause and collect our senses. <laughs>